Hey guys, what's up? It's Riku YT here, back again with another YouTube video, and today I'm gonna um, go ahead and record another video on um, things that have to do with mobile, mobile gaming and stuff like that. So what I wanted to show you was A Power. So A Power, you basically connect your phone to your computer, but here's the catch: you can use um, you can use keybinds. So you can basically use your keyboard and mouse without having to buy any so anything or like that. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do is get um get your phone you're going to want to create an account first and make a free trial um if you want to buy it that's fine um but yeah you don't you don't really have to buy you can use your free trial and use this for a bit until you're able to um upgrade but for now you just get a free trial create an account do all that good stuff um verify your account and then you'll be able to connect your phone so before you connect your phone though you're gonna have to enable USB debugging so that's in developer settings and how you get your developer options uh, that right there basically is you go to um you go to the build number and spam it I think it's five times four times I'm not sure five times I think but um enable USB debugging and you should be fine basically I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you could possibly play Fortnite uh, mobile with a keyboard and mouse uh, without using any uh, any actual hardware. Ra if, well, basically, um, this is just like the alternative to a game server, basically. So if you have a game server, you could go ahead and use that. But um, if you don't really have uh, any money for a game server or anything like that, you can use this. But um, the only thing about this is Fortnite detects... Uh, um, USB debugging so in order for you to actually play Fortnite um, with this you will have to um, you have to go and change some stuff around in the files I've currently not found anything yet I've tried searching all around the settings multiple times it hasn't really worked out for me um, I've deleted some stuff edited some stuff it just keeps going back to the default or the game just glitches out for me but um, pretty much yeah we're gonna have to wait for somebody to make a um a crack or something fr from the actual file but um, other than that if you do have a rooted device though and my bad let me turn down my actual phone if you have a rooted device and you would like to um i'm gonna go ahead and take this off the screen right now but um if you have a rooted device and you you would like to um use this you can actually use it if you have your video device but make sure you have the bypass on so you're able to still play fortnite and um, make sure you have the thing that allows you to hide your uh, basically hide your settings it's hard to explain um I'm, i haven't tried it yet but um i don't really want to mess with my razor phone or mess up the files on it right now because i have it on warranty right now so i don't want to you know modify it in any way shape or form and cause my warranty to get like terminated or anything like that is pretty much how you play fortnite mobile with a keyboard and mouse now when you are playing this you should probably look at your actual device rather than at looking at your um actual screen on your computer um because your inputs are much faster than your what you're actually getting outputted right here so i suggest you just use this as a keyboard and mouse and um set up your binds and everything i have it all set up but it didn't work um but um not only can you use it on fortnite mobile you can also use it on different apps such as pixel gun 3d which is what um, everybody likes um so you can go ahead and go you know pixel gun 3d open that up and i haven't actually used it on pixel gun 3d yet but um i guess i'll share uh, i'll do some binds in pixel gun 3d to show you guys how how it works and all that stuff so um i'm loading the pixel gun 3d um so right here and um i actually have nothing i haven't made anything for pixel gun 3d oh so it resets for every different app so that's pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and collect the loot um even though it doesn't really matter because uh the game glitched out uh, and um or, uh, my lead well my account that was i was leader on actually got screwed over um i had to delete it because it was glitching out so yeah so um vip account for seven hours i guess i don't know that's uh, just a deal uh that's weird but um i guess we'll, we're gonna go ahead and test this out so um it will be kind of hard to explain this but um, for now i'm gonna hop into a siege match 
because I don't want to have to like go through team deathmatch and go through all the pro players everybody is actually good at the game because I'm not really that good at the game um, I'm not used to keyboard and mouse yet on it um, I haven't even tried it yet so we're just gonna test it out on um, siege it's taking too long to load so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and go in a random one so we're just gonna let's try let's just do a deathmatch no, no, no. A team fight so we can respawn we'll do uh heaven garden okay as you can see we're in the match we're gonna probably die while we're setting this up but um we're gonna go ahead and set it up real quick so one two three we have six weapons so one two three four five six and I'm gonna put them all in the same area i'm gonna die a couple of times probably Oh yeah, we have one more. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. And so now for the shoe button, we're gonna go ahead and get that. It's basically the fire button, put it right there. Jump button, just get another one. I guess I shouldn't have deleted it. But make that space, just click space bar. We're gonna need one more key. Make that R. For this key, we're gonna make it, um, and we're gonna make this G for this key right here we're gonna make that F and for another one we're gonna make this one I guess Q so I kind of like Fortnite binds for building so then we're gonna do this for the joystick continue gonna exit that one and then we need our crosshair it's basically this and for this to enable it you're not gonna want to do that you're gonna want to click choose something like that for that just want to click it and boom you're in but I need to put up the sensitivity on it so that's a really good big thing also you need to put up the sensitivity and then boom you're good oh forgot to make a jump button Pretty spare spaces right there. But, I mean, like it's really smooth. I'm on the Razer phone. Um, it's pretty dang smooth. If you if you just uh focus on the actual phone rather than the emulator, it's pretty dang smooth. Um, it runs really nicely. Um, you're able to switch the weapons and everything. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, here I am again, voiceover Riku. But um. Because I couldn't speak English correctly in my, no mantra, but here I am again, voiceover Riku. So what I was going to basically say was um, I do recommend you getting an act actual physical soft, uh, not software, my bad. I still can't speak English. I do recommend you getting actual hardware if you actually want to use keyboard and mouse. I don't really, if you have a game server or anything like that, I really recommend you using that over this. This method is just if you have nothing, and I'm pretty sure... If you get the right settings and set everything up correctly, it should run better than it did for me. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Peace.